a lot of people with H. pylori, low stomach acid. How, besides of course doing an H. pylori test and determining that you have the bacteria which is obviously low stomach acid, are there any other ways that someone can tell whether they actually have a problem of excess stomach acid or low stomach acid? See, just low stomach acid and high stomach acid is not the issue here. The issue here is whether there is any damage which has taken place in the lining of the stomach or no. So like an ulcer or... Yes, or... ulcer or atrophic gastritis. Mm -hmm. H. pylori is a bacteria which easily goes in through water or impure food. Even though H. pylori is considered as a precursor for gastric cancer, the, the reason is that this H. pylori is a little bit different. Probably it is not causing that type of damage in the stomach lining which leads to ultimately to cancer. Everything is impure. We don't know what we are going to eat here and there. True. Even some water, some salad, or even a food in the flight which you take, mm -hmm. you can easily get reinfected with H. pylori. Mm -hmm. Another area where H. pylori can reinfect you is your teeth. Oral hygiene, many people don't look after it. They are only looking at everything else, but nobody looks after their teeth. Nobody looks after the oral hygiene. So it is my advice to many of my patients that at least once in a few months, go to your dentist mm -hmm. and get a proper deep cleaning done of your teeth. Because the tartar and the whatever around the teeth, that can continue to harbor H. pylori organisms.